The Miami Dolphins' full 2024 schedule will be released this evening. And while there's leaks, you never know what you can really trust. So we're going to go through our wish list instead here today on Locked on Dolphins. Things that we hope to see when the Dolphins' official schedule is announced. You are Locked on Dolphins, your daily Miami Dolphins podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. All right, Miami, welcome to another episode of Locked On Dolphins. It is your team every day here on the Locked On Network. I'm your host, Kyle Krabs, a lifelong Miami Dolphins fan, host of Locked On Dolphins, co-host of Locked On NFL Scouting. You can find our shows on YouTube or wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. Tip of the cap to our every dayers because it is your team. Every day. We don't just say it. We live it. You can also find me on Substack at Touchdown Miami for my long-form Miami Dolphins written content. But let's focus. Let's focus on the schedule and what we know about the schedule. A couple things that, that we've known as of this morning. Um, Dolphins will not be on Hard Knocks. They were the in-season Hard Knocks team last year. The New York Giants, it was announced this morning, uh, will be on the preseason episode of Hard Knocks. So good riddance to HBO. We'll see you later. <laughs> good to know. Um, I thought about doing like a, a who's who of uh, the schedule rumors, but it's such a short turnaround to when the schedule actually drops tonight that instead, uh, for those of you who are, who are tuning in before uh, the schedule release actually comes out, I wanted to kind of just go through and talk about, we know the opponents, we know whether it's home or away. We know that Miami will play at home on Thursday night football in week two against the bills. Um, and as I kind of dug through that game, I was like, yeah, there's some dynamics, I think, for some of these opponents that, that maybe you would want uh, to acknowledge. So we're going to go through my wish list uh, for week, uh, not, not necessarily week to week, but for this 2024 schedule. And the first thing that comes to mind is the travel dynamics, right? Miami naturally uh, is at a travel disadvantage this season, uh, and they're really at a travel disadvantage just about every season because – they are so isolated from so much of the rest of the country that when they travel, they travel, right? And you got to go to Seattle and to LA this year. So there's some West Coast trips that are um, really stretching yourself. And we saw Miami when they did that, when they had to go to San Francisco and to LA in consecutive weeks in the 2022 season late in the year. That team took that opportunity and they went back to back and they stayed out there. I don't know that I, I love that element so much as I would love if you're going to have those cross-country travel trips, right? And, and you're going to have two of them. It's just a question of when they happen and if they happen concurrently with one another. I know that it's easier to say, oh, we'll minimize the impact of each one of those travel trips and just we wish they're back-to-back. -back. I don't know that I necessarily do wish that they're back-to-back. -back. What I do wish for is you have some favorable travel dynamics around them as far as uh, rest days. Can you get one of those teams coming out of a bye? We know that the, the Dolphins are playing on Thursday night football in week two. Can you get one of them in week three off the heels? So you have an extra couple of days to kind of recalibrate and reset your body clock. Can you get an extra day of rest after one of those games? You no, know, do you, do you play on a Sunday and would you play on a Monday the following week? That for me is if you're going to minimize your travel impact and it's not just stack them together back-to-back -to -back and start the season with one-two punch, and we know that's not the case because we know week two is at home against Buffalo on Thursday night, that for me for the travel aspect is, is where I think it makes the most sense um, for Miami to, to root for favorable breaks in a schedule that has you at a disadvantage on top of you are already playing more road games, nine, this season than you are playing home games, eight. You know you got a home game in week two. So now you're at, at seven home games and nine road games. The way that that schedule tilts, I mean, we'll, we'll see what the, the home opener officially is announced as. I may or may not have some uh, requests on that with who's and wins. But um, just the West Coast, I know, is is a very popular talking point, and it's prevalent for uh, the other way around uh, with the West Coast teams that are coming east. San Francisco has to come to Miami. 
Uh, I'm not going to be unrealistic and expect that that's going to be a one o'clock kickoff. Uh, a lot of times the, those, especially if they're high profile games, think of Dallas last year, right? That ended up being a four o'clock game with a team that had to travel east as an NFC team uh, to play in Miami in a high profile matchup. That's kind of my gut feeling on that game as well. But the other team that has to come to you is Arizona. And um, uh, that's just a team that doesn't have a lot of expectations. Um, so can you draw them? I guess any time that you draw them, I, I don't think that that's going to be like more of a standalone kind of game just because you typically look for sex appeal or storylines. There's not a lot of attachment between these two organizations, right? So uh, I think of the NFC East game or the NFC West games, excuse me, the one that has me least uh, compelled to root for one way, shape, or form of a draw of the game is the Arizona Cardinals game. Now, we do have uh, another road game, and that is Green Bay, uh, as far as having to travel west beyond uh, your AFC opponents. And that team, Indianapolis, is the other road game. Um, Indianapolis is indoors. Green Bay is outdoors. Obviously, there's cold weather dynamics potentially at play there. Uh, we'll talk about that in cold weather opportunities as far as who are the teams that you're going to play that it might be really cold. That includes New England. That includes the Jets. That includes the Seahawks. That includes the Packers. Um, those teams, where are you hoping that you draw there? We'll, we'll kind of get into some of that. Uh, a little bit later in the show, but uh, the who's and when's I have some specific wishes uh, for as well. Uh, we're going to dig into that next here on this episode of Locked on Dolphins. So stick with us. It's winner take all time in the NBA and NHL and FanDuel is giving you a shot to bring home a big win of your own. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any Winning $5 bet, that's $150 bucks to bet on spreads, money lines, player props, and more. So visit FanDuel.com slash locked on and make every playoff shot count with FanDuel, America's number one sportsbook. All right, so we know we got the Bills in week two. And I think that that team, and I, I actually just saw uh, an... On a f it's not confirmed, but it's been reported by somebody who appears to be reputable. But this is why I didn't want to do this whole schedule release rumor thing. Um, it looks like we're going to get this. But one of the things that I knew that I wanted was I wanted to be done with the Bills early. Uh, I, I think back to was it 2022 when the Dolphins played the Bills at home in week three and they obviously won that football game. And then you had to go to Buffalo. And I think it was like the weekend of Thanksgiving, if I remember. No, it was, sorry, that was the, is that the 2021 season we were done with them early? Yeah, 2021, we played them in week two, and then we played them in week eight. And I would not be mad if you were done with the Bills by the midpoint of the season. Obviously, um, that's the team that you're trying to get over the hump with. You like the fact that you get them at home on a short week. We talked about that a little bit yesterday. But I'd like to have as much information on that team as possible uh, as the team that's kind of been your Achilles heel and X Factor. Miami, from a win percentage perspective, would be really looking really darn good if you didn't have uh, 11 losses in 12 games against the team from Western New York. So uh, I say all of that to say, if you can get those boxes checked earlier, it kind of gives you a little bit better clarity. And to be honest, if you know you're playing them in home week two and you got to go there and you haven't won there, what, since 2016? It feels, feels right. You win in, you didn't win in 2019. 2018, did you win? They came here and you won here, but you lost on the road week 17. Or yeah, week, yeah I guess it was week 17. They only played seven, 16 games back then. Uh, week 2017, you lost by eight points in Buffalo week 15 in December. Yeah, 2016 is the last time you won in Buffalo. It's been almost 10 years since you won in Orchard Park. And you had to go to overtime there. And that was the game with a backup quarterback that clinched you 10 wins to get in a playoff spot. Um, all of that to say, um, 
getting that done and over with, uh, I think would be a really nice kind of development for Miami. Um, I would expect you're going to get at least some degree of a cold weather game um, between the Patriots and the Jets. And we'll again talk about that um, as well. Um, But I wouldn't be mad if you told me that the divisional games were pretty evenly spread. Uh, That was one thing that I didn't really love about last year's dynamics was as you came down the stretch, you had the Jets all bunched together at the back end of the season. I think they were, they were what, separated by four weeks? Yeah, you had Commanders and Titans in between. And then you had the Bills two weeks after that. So you had you had three divisional games in a one, two, three, four, five, seven-game stretch after the bye to close the season. I want to know the divisional pecking order A little earlier than that, if it's possible. Uh, And speaking of the buy, uh, the buy is, I I guess, a good one to have here, too. If you're at a travel disadvantage, you play more road games naturally than you play home games. Typically, you'd like to say, well, I'd love to be at home coming out of the buy. You don't have to worry about travel. But I think that can be a nice reset for you to kind of get back um, some of that wear and tear of travel is if you're getting a road game out of the bye, because uh, road I think home games are, they're already going to be scarce. We we know we have seven left and we have nine road games left, and we know we're getting a week two game at home. So I think coming out of a bye, I'd probably prefer to play on the road, just based off of you're automatically at a numbers disadvantage for what you're playing at home and what you're playing away. Let's see here. We have, how about a, how about a one o'clock uh, kick on in September, right? Miami got one of those last year and it was week three and they put up 70 points. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much I would love starting at home just because the, then you're talking about home games week one and week two. I've seen the rumors, and I know it's been rumored a couple of the AFC South opponents, whatever. Um, if you started, I guess maybe maybe not week one, because then then you'd be looking at six home games versus nine road games the rest of the way. Because, uh, we again, we have the Thursday game on week two confirmed at home. And that's not a 1 o'clock kick. Obviously, that's Thursday night football. So week three. Does week four fall in 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 September still this year? I don't have the calendar up in front of me. Uh, Let's get a one o'clock kick on a Saturday, please, or on a Sunday in September. It's our home field advantage. Don't rob it from us because all of Western New York cried about it for three months until they won the home game because they threw snowballs and ice balls at you. 2022. Uh, so that's all my wish list definitively. And, and that is just authentically your biggest advantage is being from South Florida and having to play in South Florida. And it's been a catalyst for you having early season starts and starting the season well, because it, I mean, Miami's home field record speaks for itself. Uh, even in recent years when you haven't gotten a lot of those kicks. So that is, certainly on my wish list is that you get a one o'clock September kick. Now we have some cold weather opportunities and we will go through all of the opponents just one more time here right after the break and kind of confirm who is home, who is away. And again, the schedule release itself comes out tonight. We've had one confirmed game. Um, Also want to talk about um, holidays. Uh, One definitive holiday that the, we should be actively rooting for avoiding completely because it's it's a disaster logistics wise. We'll talk about that next year on Locked On Dolphins. Stick with us. Going to the game should not be stressful. You're supposed to go to the game because you love the game and you want to have fun. So make sure getting tickets is not stressful with game time. Uh, game time, especially now with the the schedule release coming out, you can start to calibrate your uh, 
fall travel schedule, you can get a jump on it with game time. Or if you are more spur of the moment, you can get last minute tickets with the best prices over at game time. Uh, you get last minute deals, flash deals, zone deals. You can easily find and buy your tickets and every kind of event in your area, local venues, or if you want to travel as well, you get the view from your seat, a panoramic view with your phone before you purchase the tickets. And with just a few clicks, you can get tickets delivered directly to your phone. So take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use code Locked On NFL for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Again, create account, redeem code Locked On NFL, L O C K E D O N N F L for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today for last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. Not a math guy, but I could spell. Darn it. <laughs> so, uh, here is, and I'm using fbschedules.com. Uh, so I'm just going to read them in the order that they have them here. Okay. And there's, there's no subliminal messaging or anything like that. We're not feeding into the hype of the misinformation campaign that comes this time of year. Uh, Buffalo at home. That's confirmed. 8 15 PM Thursday, September 12th on prime video, Amazon prime Thursday night football week two. Arizona Cardinals are at home. Jacksonville Jaguars are at home. Las Vegas Raiders are at home. Uh, you play at Buffalo, at Cleveland, at Green Bay. Those are all road games at Houston, at Indianapolis, at LA Rams, at New England Patriots, at New York Jets, at Seattle Seahawks. And then you have Patriots, Jets, 49ers, and Titans at home as well. So your roadblock, Bills, Browns, Packers, Texans, Colts, Rams, Patriots, Jets, Seahawks. Here's the good news. That's the, the nine games that you play. Houston, not a cold weather environment. Indianapolis, indoors, not a cold weather environment. Uh, that leaves you with seven, though. Now, the way that the schedule is going to play itself out, you won't play all of them late in the year. Cross me off for wanting Buffalo late in the year. I'm not interested. If they play it, great. You'll go up there. You'll play the game, whatever. But there's there's just so much extra with the dynamics between those two teams. If you can take the weather element out of it, I'd love for that to be the case. Um, L.A., did we take L.A. off? Yeah, so L.A. is not going to be a cold weather environment either. So now you're down to five. Seahawks, Jets, Patriots, Packers, Browns. And, and the, again, this is my wish list for this. I'm sure you're going to get a late season divisional game between the Patriots and the Jets on the road. I'm sure it's going to happen. So what I'd like to happen is I think I'd like the Jets. I think the Patriots are a team with all of the youth that they have. Uh, their in-season development makes them a little bit more of an unknown. And then from the Jets' perspective, look at a lot of their off-season additions, right? Be that uh, Mike Williams at wide receiver, be that Tyron Smith at offensive tackle. Uh, obviously, Aaron Rodgers with, with the injury that he's coming off of this past year. For all the talk about injuries for the Miami Dolphins and how it's derailed their season the past two years, there's a lot of that potential for the Jets. And if you told me you had to go to either Foxborough or MetLife late in the year to play a divisional game, I think I'd rather draw the Jets for some of those elements as far as what the quality of the team is versus New England. They're going to start bad because there's so much new. Will they get better throughout the course of the season? How is Drake May going to acclimate to his uh, first season as an NFL quarterback, presuming he gets the chance to start. So if you told me that you got one cold weather divisional game, give me the Jets. I would want to draw the Jets. Uh, and then as far as the other games, because we have Seattle, Cleveland, and Green Bay. Seattle, you already got to go all the way out there. Uh, so miss me with that ideally being a cold weather game on top of that. Going to Seattle in December. West Coast coming from Miami. Pff, no thanks. Hard pass on that. Hard pass on that. So that would then leave for my wish list Cleveland and Green Bay. 
Like, I don't think it's consequential when you play Houston. I don't think it's consequential when you play Indianapolis. I don't think it's consequential when you play the Rams. Now, the travel dynamic there is obviously one thing. And um, we've we've kind of already gone, gone through the rest stuff there. Not interested in Seattle or Buffalo. I've had to pick a divisional game and be Jets. Out of the other two games, how, which which would I rather prioritize if it had to be in the cold? Uh, there's such an aura about Lambo. That's tough. That's a coin toss for me. If you told me one of those was a late in the season game that you had to go play and you knew it was going to be cold. I guess Green Bay is probably a little softer on the offensive line than Cleveland is. But Green Bay's got a better quarterback, and I'll be comfortable saying that out loud. Uh, Cleveland's got a better defense. I, I think I might lean Green Bay. But then the the the, the playing in Lambeau is a, it's a different animal. That's a coin toss for me. That's a toss-up. I, I don't definitively feel one way or another if you had to play one of those late in the season on the road in the cold. Um. And that brings us to the last talking point that I do indeed have, uh, which is the holidays. Don't put this team on Christmas, please. It's the middle of the week. There's weird rest that's going to be like a three-week domino effect because of that, because you're going to play on a Wednesday. So then you got to play on a, a Saturday the week before, and now you're getting shortchanged on rest like three straight weeks. No thanks. That's a mess. If you're going to put us on a holiday, I, I guess put us on Thanksgiving instead of Christmas Day and then whatever the, the waterfall effect is of that. That's a nightmare. It's a logistics nightmare, and it's a mess that they chose to do that. I know that just came out this morning that those are going to be on Netflix. So hooray, just another reason to be fired up for another streaming service that you need for the games. Now, most people have Netflix. Nobody have Peacock. And don't put our games on Peacock. Anymore. That's my last request for the schedule. That is going to do it for me here on this schedule wish list for the 2024 Miami Dolphins schedule. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, stay tuned. When the schedule drops, we will have a show very shortly afterwards reacting to the schedule in its totality and uh, breaking down what our knee-jerk reactions are to the draw that the Dolphins get for the 2024 season. I'm Kyle Krabs. You can find me on YouTube or wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. Appreciate you guys checking out the show. Fins up.